Hi guys, uh, today that I'm doing another review. Uh, today it's going to be on a twisted 26 gauge parallel uh, coil. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, this is one I have built right here. Um, it works really good. I got it vaping at 55 watts on this. Uh, because um, it uh, it gets a little warm because it's uh, in single coil mode on this twisted messes RDA and uh, so yeah it gets a little bit warm but if you had a dual coil of them it probably uh, would be a little bit better but for a cooler vape but uh, alright let's see uh, I'll show you guys it firing really quick at 55 watts alright and here it is so yep that's pretty good uh, it's a 0 .20 ohm coil so that's pretty good I guess uh, I got it at 55 watts. So let's uh, show you guys how you you can build a twisted 26 gauge parallel uh, coil. First, you're gonna need about <clears throat> about a foot or so of uh, of canthal or whatever you're building with. So let's get about a foot. Okay, and uh, also you're going to need a pen with that has a built-in clip to it uh, for a shirt clip, built-in clip on your pen so you can slide your uh, wire under there and you can twist it by hand and then you can hold the other end of the wire with uh, some pliers. So I'll show you guys that really quick. I'm using uh, Cant uh, UD Canthal A1 26 gauge, and there, there it is. Alright, so you just clip it underneath the clip, like that. Uh, it's, this is really easy to do, guys. So let's see. And then we just hold the two ends, make sure they're snug together, and then you just start twisting and twisting, and you just keep twisting until you get a uh, nice tight, uh, like tight twists on it. Like you can see as the as I keep twisting the um, the wire is uh, slowly uh, getting tighter and that's what we need for this uh, twisted build this is how I do it it's pretty easy uh, you don't need any power tools no drills so that's pretty close here <coughs> It should just be another minute before this uh, before this wire is done. You just want to twist it till it, you feel it start getting some tension, and then um, twist it a little bit longer after that until you see it uh, uniform uh, on the, the twist uh, and you can feel that it's rigid so let's see here it's almost done alright yep there it is there's the twisted 26 gauge wire and uh, you can use this to just do a parallel uh, build and uh, mine I did 
five wraps. Uh, so it net so going out to point two zero, and uh, I believe I the diameter was. Uh, 2.5 or something so that's pretty good and then when you're done uh, twisting your your cable you just take it cut it right pretty low cut it right there Oops. and then you're left with a nice twisted um, piece of wire all right. Now, if you wanted to do the parallel, uh, the parallel coil like I did with this wire, you can um, you can uh, probably cut your wire in half if you have a little bit more of it. I'd probably do like a foot and a half, and then twist it out, and it'd be about this long, and then you can cut it in half, and then use that to wrap your parallel but I'll show you really quick uh, how easy it is to wrap a coil with this wire this is just the 26, the 26 gauge um, uh, wire uh, twisted All right, now that's about the same thing you would do with the um, with the parallel. You just uh, use your coil jig to wrap a parallel how you would wrap a regular one. Uh, I was just showing you a few little shortcuts and stuff like how to make the twisted one without a, a power drill or anything like that. So that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, let's do a quick vape really quick uh, and I'll show you guys how how much clouds this twisted 26 gauge parallel coil does As you can see, the cotton's already about dry after after three hits, and um, after three vapes, yeah, the cotton's dry. So yeah, 55 watts, it's vaping, it's just sucking the juice right out of its uh, cotton. Uh, by the way, I'm using um, uh, some organic Japanese cotton in my uh, build uh, I'll show you that really quick it's by folk folk focus e-sig Japanese cotton 100% original Muji Japanese organic cotton no adhesives no bleach I got the little squares here um, I got this on uh, VaporBeast.com. Uh, they got it for really cheap there, and it's really good cotton. I'd uh, recommend going out and getting some of this. They got the UD Canthal A1 there for pretty cheap. I believe it's three dollars for a 30 foot um, for a 30 foot roll of it, maybe three dollars and some change, and then. The organic cotton's really cheap too, so I'd check that out. And uh, 
Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please subscribe. And thanks.